Hello, my beautiful, darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out uh, my other channels, I've got a Virgo-only channel, a Cancer-only channel, and then my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. On February 1st, I'll be announcing two winners for two emergency readings. They are three question readings. They value at $77 a piece so if you would like to enter to win just hashtag reading in the comment section below okay um, if you would like to check out my tarot tutorial it's about two and a half hours long the link is below if you would like to book a reading the link is below and if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks I currently have spirit shield tarot and oracle buy one get one free and then I have um, royal rose tarot which is 20% off okay all right, my little lion cubs, let's get popping. Tell me about Leo, please, spirit. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please, spirit. Tell me about Leo, please. Okay. So we have breakup. We've got text message, and we have surrender. Leo, now, I, here's what I find interesting, okay? In this text message someone is getting news that they're happy about about a breakup someone here is coming in to tell you i broke up with somebody i'm surrendering that i'm letting it go um i've left that person and i don't know this might make you happy okay it, there's a, or it might make someone happy. I don't know who this is, but someone here is smiling at a text message that they're getting about, you know, I left that person. You know, I, I left that person. So let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about, whoa, she's in crackers. Okay, page of wands, there's the message, and the eight of pentacles. Tell me about Leo, please. Ace of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Five of Swords. The Four of Wands. The Devil. There was communication here about working something out and I feel like someone here said well listen I'm not going to be juggled so if you want to work something out with me it's got to be just me you're going to have to leave and I feel like what happens here is someone leaves a marriage or somebody leaves a home or somebody leaves a divine counterpart or they leave someone that is stable this person that is receiving you know this good news about a breakup you know because someone here is basically saying well if you want me you have to be single so you have to leave that person now, I'm not liking this devil card here, guys. Uh, you know, it could be that the, you know, it could be that the person that is leaving the situation is a little obsessed with this, with this individual that they're moving towards. Yeah, the devil and the ten of swords. There is someone here that wants a relationship to end. They want a relationship to end. This is someone that's saying, you know, uh, I've, I, now, I don't know, Leo, if your person wanted to work things out with this individual or if this individual contacted your person and said, hey, I miss you. I wish we could have worked things out, you know, this, this and that. And then they say, well, you know, I, if you would be willing to make it work, that's fine. But you got to leave Leo. You know, you, you can't stay with Leo. 
Yeah, see, three of pentacles. This is someone that is saying, if you want to work things out with me, you got to end that connection. And I feel like someone here does it. Yeah, there's a, you know, there's a third party here or, you know, Leo, again, I don't know where you stand in this because really you could be anybody, okay? You could be... Um, the third party you could be the person that is receiving the text message or you could be the person that's being left i'm gonna read this as you're the person that is being left here because that's how what i feel the strongest i feel like you know your person might be walking away to go towards this third party to work things out but just keep in mind that you could fit any one of those roles in this reading okay Tell me about the Page of Wands for Leo, please. We've got the Strength card. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Lovers. Yeah, there, there's communication here about, yes, I would be willing to work things out with you, but I'm not going to because there is someone else in the picture. You have to get rid of that person, and then we could talk about working things out. There could be a Leo or a Gemini involved here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands and the Two of Swords. I'm not going to start over with you. I'm not going to give you sex. I'm not giving you anything because I'm not going to be juggled. If you want to work things out with me, you have to get rid of that person. You're going to have to decide who you want to commit to. This could be a Taurus. Tell me about the Five of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So what happens here is somebody intentionally sabotages a connection. Okay, they intentionally sabotage a connection to move towards what they're passionate about. Tell me about the Four of Wands, the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the Page of Swords and the Emperor. Leo, you could be married to this person. You could be married to this person and someone here is having to tell their children, you know, you might be having to tell your children that their father left or that their mother left or something like that. I, I feel like there's a, a higher level of commitment here. There's either marriage, you guys are living together, you have children together, or you have a future that you were supposed to have together. And I, I do feel like someone's going to see the truth as to why this high level of commitment has ended. And they're going to know the truth because these two are immediately getting back together. You see, someone may be seeing online and, and their heart may be hurting because there's a, an energy of like these two immediately end up reconciling. Okay, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about Virgo, please. Tell me about Virgo. We Did I say Virgo? This is a Leo reading. I don't know why I said Virgo. There could be a Virgo in the mix. I haven't gotten any Virgo cards as of yet, but there could be. Leo, tell me about Leo, please. Liquid courage, third party, and player, and hookup. So what happened here was, I feel like there was a third party that drunk text your person, okay? This person is very manipulative. They were testing your person. So th that that's why I didn't like that devil energy. I didn't like that devil energy. What this third party is doing is they're testing your person, Leo, to see if they could break up your relationship or not. This is not someone that has any real feelings for your person, okay? They text your person, they were drunk, and, you know, they were, they were very, like, you know, charming, a little manipulative, whatever. This person could be karmic. It is possible that these two had sex one time. And then this third party said, no, I'm not giving it to you again because you're in a relationship. If you want to be with me or if you want to sleep with me or if you want to do this A, B, C, and D, you know, that's fine. But you got to leave Leo, okay? Tell me about Leo, please. Yeah, five of pentacles and the seven of wands in the reverse. So this third party wanted to know if your person would not answer and leave them out in the cold or if, the, if your person would open the door. 
that's what they wanted to know. And I feel like your person may have opened the door, Leo. Six of Wands. Yep, they won. And the Death card. The, your person opened the door. And now this individual has the ability to succeed in breaking up your connection. Now they hold the power. And that's the, the, the point. See, the Lover's card and the Devil card tie in very closely. Because the Lover's card is Adam, Eve, and the Snake, right? So the, the test here is, are you going to choose the beautiful soul tie that I gifted you with? Or are you going to choose Temptation? Okay, and with player here, we've got literally the word tested on this oracle card. Your person failed and chose the snake. They chose the temptation. They chose to answer back. And now what happens, Leo? Now, if you look at the devil card in tarot, in the major arcana, the devil is playing puppet master to Adam and Eve. Okay. So your person opened the door to this devil energy, and this person is now able to create an ending, okay? They're able to create an ending. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the Page of Pentacles, and we've got the King of Pentacles. And there's the devil. And there's the devil. So now your person goes towards the third party and says, okay, you know, I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to get back together with you. And I think what happens here, now the six of pentacles and the three of swords, what I'm feeling here is that your person goes to the third party and says, okay, I am ready, you know, to commit. I'm single now. I left Leo and this third party breadcrumbs your person or ignores your person and goes towards someone else. That's what I'm feeling happened here. Tell me, because this third party doesn't care about your person. It was like, he, 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 I wonder if I can break up that relationship. He, 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 I wonder if, you know, if I reach out to Leo's person, if Leo's person will ignore me or answer back. Yeah, your person is about to learn one hell of a lesson here, Leo. I see a huge fight breaking out. I see a huge fight breaking out, and I see your person walking away and coming right back. You ever see those Kermit memes? Kermit the Frog, where he's leaving and then he comes right back? That's your person. Tell me about the Seven of Wands in the reverse and the Judgment card. So I feel that, Leo, you, this third party wanted to see what decision your person would make. Would they protect you and your connection or would they open the door? Okay. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. They win. This third party won. I hate to say it. And I feel like with the death card and the five of cups here, you know, your person does carry some guilt, regret, remorse about doing this to you, but they're like, I want to go play. You know, I want to go play. I want to go towards this third party. Tell me about the page of pentacles and the three of wands. So what is your person expecting now? Your person is expecting to be in a committed relationship with this third party, right? No. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, the High Priestess here. Tell me about this King of Pentacles and the High Priestess and the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Your person at this third party did a lot of talking about this. They did a lot of talking behind your back, Leo, in secret, okay, about how if your person should leave you, how your person, if they left you, yeah, if, if you leave Leo, you can come stay with me, or if you leave Leo, we can work it out, um, you know, just a lot of talking behind your back, a lot of talking, and with the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords, your person makes that impulsive decision to run away from you, and what do they run into? A wall. With that nine of wands energy, they run right into a brick wall. Your This third party is promising your person, the sun, the moon, the stars, everything. But they're making promises as a page. With the ten of swords, your person is about to get their feelings hurt. They are about to get their feelings hurt here, Leo. And now with the three of pentacles, the high, uh, excuse me, the three of pentacles, the hermit and the empress here this emperor energy this emperor energy this one right here is sitting alone now in their room you know trying to figure out how the hell am i going to get leo back now 
How am I going to get Leo back now? If I go towards Leo, Leo's going to stab me in the eye with a dirty fork. Leo's going to shank me in the neck with a spoon. That's what Leo's going to do. Leo's going to kill me in my sleep if I even attempt to go back there. No. I, I, how am I supposed to do this now? What the hell am I supposed to do? How do I go? How do I take this back? Oh, your person messed up, Leo. All right, we're going to take it into the extended, Leo. Let's see what's going to happen between you and your person. Let's see, you know, should you stay? Should you go? Should you reconcile? Let's see what else you need to know here. What is going to happen with this Queen of Wands energy? Is this person ever going to hit your person up again? Have they learned their lesson? Will they ever cheat again if you take them back? Let's see what we have going on here. And Leo, if you decide that you're, you know, not going to take them back, we'll do a singles reading in the extended to see if you have new love coming in if you don't take this person back, okay? All right, uh, the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you there.